Hi, it's Paul from Wave5Trade.com. This is an update video. I set this uh, particular trade up on Friday, the 9th of March, and it made a slightly noon low. This is EVH on the 60 minute time frame. So it didn't trigger the trade. It made a slightly new low that day on Friday. So now updated this video. The first video I used a different um, Elliott Wave indicator suite from Wave5Trade. Dot com. I use the Ninja Trader, but I'm doing this update video using the Think or Swim platform. The original video is below this one. Uh, this is the up to date entry strategy. So, as you can see here on the 60 minute, we've had the wave one, the wave two, We're coming out of the range bound period now on a nice bullish trend on the 60 minute, and then we've pulled back. Friday's lows was about here. Uh, and then sorry Thursday's lows was here and then Friday came down and made a slightly new low so it's just about adjusting um, this type of entry for this fifth wave trade so what we're seeing now is this wave for finding support in our amber zone which is an 80% probably it's going to go on and make a new wave five high into our automated target zones up here in blue the trade is still good because the 535 oscillator which is part of our indicator suite is still in between the 90 and the 140 percent zone of the pullback from the highest point in the wave three stochastics crossed over in the oversold zone wave four is still in one of our pullback zones so it's all good all we've got to do is adjust the stop loss and the entry so stop loss uh, I've now put that at 1546 just underneath the uh, the wave four low uh, for Friday the entry just above the whole $16 mark 1602 which is way outside the 64 moving average high this green moving average here which we use for our entry strategies on wave five trade so this is a nice conservative strategy above the 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 resistance level that was formed on Friday so we're way above that as well so if we break if we start to turn back up come out of the 64 moving average high and break Friday's high got a good chance that this is a high probability trade and then we're going to go long all the way up into uh, around about 17 13 17 dollars something like that so as you can see well the risk to reward of one to two into our target zone now with this potential trade on EVH. So let's see how this does on Monday. Thank you. Bye.